All right, folks. Hello and welcome in. Today, as you can see, we have the Godox V850, the third version, right here on April Visuals. We doing some gear reviews now, people. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Appreciate y'all coming through. If you don't know about me, I'm a Jacksonville, Florida-based photographer willing to travel. So if you need my services, uh, check out the website, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, we have, if, if you know anything about photography, flash is everything. Light is everything. Um, and here we have the latest and greatest well that's ever touched my hands as far as speed lights go. Speed lights are everything. I love them to death. They are invaluable when you're out in the wild and you need light, especially at events. Um, events are a lot of fun, but they're nothing if you don't have the correct lighting and uh today we're gonna review this joint this uh 850 v third version from godox so let's start out we uh start out with uh the actual speed light itself the charger the base where it plugs in your ac adapter charger whatnot your lithium ion battery and uh, let's see, As, uh, it takes a V, Let's see if we can get our focus together. It takes a uh, V, B28A battery. It got our focus there, a v, V26A battery. Um, I have no idea what the milliamp says. It is 21.6 watt, watt amperage and a 3000 milliamp battery. So uh, that's a lot of capacity for a, uh, such a small, a small uh, cartridge. You know what I mean? Um, so we got the battery. We have the AC adapter charger, USB. <coughs> the dock for that lithium ion battery. And our USB-C charger. Like I say, it's USB-C, as you can see here. Um, let me take it apart. Give me a sec. Take it apart. Boom, boom, boom. Twist tie. It's about, uh, I'd say it's about two feet, about 24 inches or so. Battery. I mean, a uh, charger cable comes with it. Uh, yeah. So it's not bad at all. It's USB-C, the latest and greatest for the 2022s and 2020s. Uh, and then we have the actual flash itself. I always look at these cases because I uh, I love good Velcro type joints where you could uh, possibly latch it on to say your your book bag or or your your belt loop or however you going about building out your Batman belt for your photography. Uh, this is the actual flash itself. Like I say, let's see the standard Lightroom. I mean, not Lightroom. Uh, speed light case. Um, here's the flash that we have. Has a ton of ton of features. And uh me personally, I've only ever used double A type speed lights. This one has a connector here. Not sure what that is. I don't necessarily use every little connector that comes with all my speed lights. But um I, I was interested in this one because it I, I was been using double A's forever. And I said, I wonder if there's a lithium ion version that would uh, be a little bit more environmentally friendly and get me into the 21st century. You know what I mean? So Godox is a brand that I've used for a very, very long time. With my lighting, I prefer them. And and um, this one, that's actually nice. I didn't know that. that uh, you got your full range of motion. But this one, actually, you don't have to turn it most go most uh speed lights you have to flip them around in order to get that backwards bend but this one has the backwards bend already in it so i guess that's what you're getting in the, in the third version <laughs> you know what i mean so uh has your uh standard features let's see your different uh menus and if you have any any of the previous godox um items their uh their menu is pretty much the same this is your test light you hit that and then it 
let you know that it's ready to go. Um, your menu, your sleep timer. Sleep timer, and then let's say you run through it, change that, hit your set to get to the next one to function, but as a function setting, uh, whether or not it gives an audible beat. Uh, it lets you know whether, if, this, if you turn this on, if that should be blinking to help you get focused when you're using your camera. Uh, get back to the menu. Sleep function, beep, blink, uh, optical slave, whether it's on or off. Not sure what that one is. Somebody in the comments, let me know what that is. LD or 1D, on or off? I mean, I can check it on the back end, but. Oh, that thing menu switch quick. <laughs> if you get if you give it a little break, it, it goes pretty quickly. And that's your menus. You can see you have your, your manual focus. Oh, let me see what we have. You got your manual focus buttons. Your zoom. It goes from 20 millimeter to 200 millimeter zoom. Um, different modes. Multi. Manual. Multi manual. And I'm pretty sure there's a slave on here. That's your wireless. That's your wireless. Uh, your wireless joint to... Uh, to get it synced up, but uh, I've used it actually used it in the wild yesterday, so it's it's really really good. I love the lighting that actually comes off of. I use this this one particular one. I believe was I got it off of uh, Amazon. Um, it came with this soft box modifier, which worked pretty well. Uh, and it gave me some pretty good light. Um, it has your I don't know what this thing's actually called a technical term for it. But what I use it for is uh, standing the, you use it to stand, I know what it does. You use it to stand the light on and say you were using off camera flash. That's a whole nother topic, a whole nother, um, <laughs> a whole nother area of photography that, that is beautiful. And I use it a lot myself. But uh, this, this, this light in my one day using, it has a ton, a ton of features. So that's the only thing. If you're not familiar with all the features, and all the things that flashes do or are able to do, you might get yourself into some trouble. But if you do understand flash photography, lighting, etc., etc., it's uh, it was a beautiful light. The light that came off of it, I will be showing some some examples of what's going on with this light, um, and how it uh, how what kind of output it gave me, and I was very pleased with it. But I did in one instance uh. I guess I bumped something the wrong way and it, and uh, I couldn't get the flash to fire. And I took two seconds and looked at my settings and I, and I see I had bumped something on accident. I have no idea what this is for, but I'm pretty sure it's for something good. Um, and it's useful for something. Uh, you got your, your wipey cloth, your soft microfiber, and your manual. It's in a, well, it's in a foreign language. I don't see the English version. But maybe that's just the version that I bought. Oh, there it is. It's English in the back end. It's the English version right here. So, um, yeah. Let's uh go over to uh some examples and uh some uh a little bit of footage of me in the wild shooting with this flash. Appreciate you coming through. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> 